Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tevs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Sony Projector TV. Model KFE 50A10. It's turning on and suddenly turns off, then the red light indicator flashes four times. I'll show you how to fix it. If you like electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So make sure to like the videos and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated on the newest videos. So let's get started. A 4 times flashing code for a Sony projector TV is a power supply or fan issue. So let's first see the power supply. The power supply is in this area. Let's disconnect these wires so we can see the power supply. The power supply circuit does not seem to be easy to separate from the brackets that holding it, and it seems it is not the power supply issue anyway. So let's see if all the fans are working. These two fans are working. Let's locate the other fans. Let's unscrew this metal box. It's my first time to repair this kind of TV, to be honest. I do not even know what the use of this box is, maybe it is the LCD processor. Let's remove this plastic cover. Oh. 
we have just located the HID lamp ballast. This is the temperature sensor, and this is the lamp door switch. Let's remove the ballast. That is the other blower fan. These optocouplers are used for turning on the ballast, brightness, and the lamp fail detector. Let's put a paper to press the lamp door switch so the TV will operate normally. Let's plug the TV and see if the fan is working. It's spinning back and forth. Looks like that is the problem. Before we remove the blower fan, let's remove first the HID lamp. This blower fan is used for cooling the HID lamp. If this fan fails to spin, the system will stop its operation then the TV will not continue to turn on. The blower fan was finally removed. The other fans are working normally, but this blower fan is not. Let's try to repair it. Let's unclip the e-clip ring.
There's no problem with the ball bearing. The problem with it is the hall sensor. Just like the head drum motor of a Betamax player before, if some of you still remember the Betamax player, if the hall sensor is damaged, the movement of the head drum motor is just like it, spinning back and forth. So let's replace the hall sensor. The hall sensor is on the other side. We cannot replace it if we don't remove the PCB board. That's the hall sensor. Let's grind the copper that holds the rotor and the PCB board. We grind only more than half a portion of it, so if we put it back, there is still a part that will hold it stronger. The rotor and the PCB board are finally removed. That's the hall sensor. This is a fan from an old PC and that is the hall sensor. It has also an E mark on it. The PC fan ground is on this side. But the projector fan is on this side. Let's remove the PC fan sensor and just try to use it.
We have to flip over the sensor so we solder the right position of the ground. These types of sensors are not all similar. So we follow the grounding where to be soldered, to ensure that it will be in the right connection. The hall sensor is soldered in place. Now let's try it. It's still spinning back and forth. Let's try another PC fan hall sensor. Three hours later. I have tried several hall sensors from a PC fan and they are not working. Until I tried this old laptop CPU fan hall sensor. Is finally working. I have found the right sensor. The TV seems not turning off now. Let's reassemble the blower fan. We will solder the portion that we have just grind and at least it will secure a little bit. If I overheat the copper holding the bobbin of the rotor, it will melt so I stop it there. I think that is enough solder to hold it in place.
Let's clip back the e-clip ring. I repair the blower fan without spending money. So my customer pays me at a lower cost. And there is nowhere to buy that kind of blower fan here in my area. I'm not willing to order it online. I want to finish the job right away. So I do the best remedy to make it work. A few moments later. I one of my like secret places in Milano. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. You can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.